FSU student athletes can be easily spotted on any court, field, or track, donning the school's signature garnet and gold. But for a group of men's basketball players, they take pride in representing another color, green. The green team is made up of five walk-ons and one transfer who play a major role in contributing to the success of Florida State men's basketball. So, you know, we do the scout team, so we try to replicate you know, our Knicks opponent, what they do, how they play. Um, we try to memorize as many of their plays as possible um, and their defensive philosophies so that, um, you know, we can get our team the, the best look we can in practice. The guys have embraced their crucial role and have quickly become more than just a practice squad. Last year, former scout team members Raekwon Gray and Anthony Polite took the name from their high school travel team, the Florida Vipers, and merged with the green team to create the group that is now referred to as the Green Vipers. Much like the animal they've been named after, the Green Vipers have become some of the most intense, dangerous offenses and defenses Florida State will face throughout the season. Yeah, it's kind of like almost taking another class, uh, pretty much, at least for me, I think of it that way. We watch their film, we have you know, homework, you know, uh, studying the other team, and so just going from game to game and opponent to opponent and um, switching styles, um, it's a lot of work, but it's also a lot of fun. It's because they're able to you know, replicate what the other team does, and they do it at such a speed where when we get in the game, it kind of slows it down for us, and they've been doing that for the last three years, and it's helped us big time. For us, our success is on their shoulders. And whenever you win games, preparation is behind that. It's at the forefront, you know, of any successful game that we've had. And once the ball tips, the Green Vipers continue to play an active role throughout the game. Just try to bring as much energy as possible, um, talking. We try to call out the other team's plays so we've been running them so we can kind of recognize them and call them out. I know they're engaged in the game and there's a million things running through their head. And I'm just trying to like ensure them like, hey, don't overthink it. You're here for a reason. You're skilled, you're talented enough. We trust you, we have faith in you. Just play your game and everything's gonna be fine. For many, the experience of being a walk-on will help them beyond their years as a seminal. Running all these offenses and finding out different things about players, how people interact with each other on the basketball court and even off the court, I feel like it's gonna help me a lot as a, I, call, I want an aspiring basketball coach one day. And he forgot to include that when he's a head coach, you know, I'll be maybe an assistant coach or, or a booster, something. Because I know, you know, I want to join a winning program, so he'll, he'll, bring, he'll bring me and the rest of the green team onto his staff. While their time on the court may be limited, the Green Vipers are essential to Seminole basketball, both on, but more importantly, off the court. I mean, they're just always around and they're always there for us no matter what we need. Um, and it's never a no from them, you know. They are unbelievable teammates. And when I say they're unbelievable teammates, whenever you have Jonathan Isaac uh, fly in to see Travis Light, who's in a hospital at home, that's a relationship that started, you know, not only on the court com com as a competitor or as a teammate, but it, it, it goes to the camaraderie off the court and the friendships they established, not only in this four year span at the school, but it's a four year, 40 year and lifetime relationship. For these guys, the experience means way more than the minutes played. I remember specifically like last year, whenever we were playing North Carolina, uh, I remember it was like the final seconds and we ended up winning the game by one, but I remember just like sitting there in the middle of the arena and all the like fans were on their, on their feet and like everybody was screaming. It was so cool. Just like, like soak that in for a second. Like this is the stuff you saw as a kid that you were like, that is so cool. I wish I could be a part of that. And not here you are doing that, you know. Locker room jokes, the, you know, the jokes we have on the plane, playing cards in the hotel. Like, there's just so many experiences that you just wouldn't get otherwise and like that's why I always just think about it like I'm gonna look back at this as some of the best times of my life. The work put in by the green team may often go unnoticed but every once in a while when the roles get reversed they've got a team of guys lifting them up just like they do for everyone else all season. I'm Abby Radica for the Leonard Hamilton Show.